Hi, David, and some updates, of course. I'm grabbing my Canon R6 with my 16 lens now. It is currently 6.30 now, and I gotta leave for work in like 30 minutes. So, we are getting ready quick today. For a while, I was getting up like every morning at like 5 a.m. and loving it. It's just not been the case lately. I need to find something to wear today. No idea what my vibe is. I'm gonna grab my phone and look on Pinterest. Something I've been loving is looking on both Pinterest and on Lemon 8 because there are so many good outfit inspo posts. Now that I say that, I can't find them, but I had saved several. You can go back and be like, oh yeah, I saw that. Let me recreate it. I think I'm going to do that today. Morning. Can you see good morning? Wow, that was a big yawn. That was a big yawn. <laughs> Can you not breathe out your nose? That <laughs> is on me. I can say I have no parts, I have no lines, but I have you, and you have me, honey. do a quick clean up around the house and oh yeah these peonies they're withering away but I got them last week and they smell so so good and I'm so sad to see them leave but oh they're, they were so pretty I do a quick little clean up around the house before I take off every day because the girls and goose leave toys everywhere this off. My laptop, I was doing some editing yesterday, so that's why my laptop is in here. 
I'm gonna grab this. I'm packing my work bag now. I have my laptop, charger, bring my wallet, keys. I have all of my camera equipment at the office already because I'm supposed to shoot photos today and tomorrow. And hopefully, I say supposed to shoot. Hopefully today, the realtor I'm supposed to go with um, is available. One of them has been sick and the other has been having some issues. She had a knee replacement, I think. So it's kind of been giving her some issues. So hopefully I get to shoot some photos today. Have all my stuff. I have a bottle ready for Cal. His diaper bag is ready. So we are going to hit the road. Let's go take Cal into school. sushi this morning and a coke and I'm going through doing a little bit of training and some overview for some listing photos which I'm super excited about and yeah it's been a pretty productive morning I'm gonna inhale this sushi though because I'm so hungry I don't even know I think I got the Philadelphia roll I don't know so good i'm going to head out here soon so i want to make sure i have everything for photos so what i'm bringing with me tripod i have my gimbal for my phone charging i also have this little flash back um, my batteries are charged. I have two camera bodies that are Canon, and then we actually have an old camera body that's a Nikon that I'm going to bring. I never shoot on Nikon, I prefer Canon, but we have it, so I'm gonna have to bring it. Um, my adapter for my lens, and I'm going to bring my 50 lens. And I'm going to bring my 16 lens. I prefer the 16 when shooting real estate because it's zoomed out. I can get a lot more of a wide angle. Um, and then the 50 is good for like beautiful cinematic close-up shots. So I'm gonna bring both. And then of course I always bring my 135. Um, it's just a good classic gun to have, so. I'm gonna pack all of this up. And that's pretty much everything. So I've got my tripod, 
my gimbal is in this case and then I've got my bag and also my stick that connects to my gimbal if I need it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything that I bring with me to shoot listing photos. And this bag, I love it. It's durable, waterproof, it's cute in my opinion, and it's from Amazon. I'll try to link it down below, but it's like my favorite thing and I'm so happy I got it. I also have been going through and doing some engagement on socials and I've made a couple posts. I made a graphic this morning because our realtor Carol had a listing and it closed this morning so that's super exciting and I wanted to shout her out so I pushed that. I pushed a couple of their like little interactive posts. The office is kind of busy. There's a lot of people in and out and also my workload has been kind of busy with lots of closings happening within the next couple of weeks and um, preparing for photos today. So anyway, that is what I've been up to. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to show when I'm actually at the listing taking photos, but I'm going to try and get some B-roll clips and include those for you guys because I always find those to be really interesting and I love love looking at house interiors that's a lot of the reason why i enjoy this job so much so i will try to get some of that but um yeah i am gonna leave probably in about half an hour so in the meantime i'm going to make myself a little shot list i've already looked up the listing and the old listing photos of the property and so i have an idea of what i'm walking into and basically I'm just getting some, you know, shot ideas, writing them in my notes on my phone a lot of times helps me, um, you know, just stay on track and remember to not only get like the important listing photos, the photos that sell the property um, and the photos that every realtor wants, but also getting some extra stuff that I can use for marketing on socials and whatnot. So. There's a lot more that goes into it than um, what the average Joe might think um, and to keep myself organized. I just like to make lists and that way nothing gets forgot. So I'm going to spend the next 30 minutes or so doing that and then I'm going to load up and we'll head out. She told me all we had was trading cards and common sense. Nothing that's worth keeping to yourself. All right, we're at the first location. I have my two camera bodies. One, I'm shooting video on my gimbal stabilizer and the other taking photos. So here we go. This house is so fun. It has lots of natural beauty, natural light. They did a lot of updates to it, so it's a really really good house to be shooting. I'm gonna prop here and I'm gonna grab some motion movement. Getting lots of video clips now. like the lighting in here is really good so I want to grab as much video as I can video is huge in real estate marketing right now and it's a way to really set yourself apart from competitors so we're videoing but I think I'm good on video for right now I'm grabbing my Canon R6 with my 16 lens now I'm gonna start grabbing some wide-angle shots of the rest of the house
All right, I feel as though I've gotten quite a bit of wide angle shots. I am gonna step outside and grab some of the front, the back, the patio, and then also I'm going to put on my Nifty 50 lens and grab some like close up, more cinematic shots for just video purposes. We won't be able to use them most likely in the listing photos, but we will be able to utilize them in video footage, which always enhances your videos. So if you can do it, you might as well. So let's step out, grab some shots outside, and then we'll switch lenses. How freaking cool of a view is this? photo shoot is done I'm heading back now it's right at four o'clock I shot for right at an hour so did really good on timing I definitely could have gone much longer but I figured I needed to wrap it up it was such a fun listing and it was beautiful so I feel really good about it but I am heading home now I'm actually going to let the dogs out and then I'm gonna go meet Jackson at a little project that he's working on. He picked Callan up from daycare and he is over at a little project um, working on a house. So I'm gonna go help him. But first, I gotta let the dogs out. So I'm gonna run home and do that. And I also need to change my battery because I've been filming all day and my camera battery's low, but yeah. Gonna do that. I'm super warm. I ended up taking my blazer off because I'm burning up, but it's the most perfect day and the weather was perfect for shooting content. So feeling good about it, you guys. Feeling good. Go potty, Goosey. Go potty, Goosey. Goose is getting so big. Good boy. Sit, sit, sit. Good boy. I am changing really quick. It's super hot and I have been sweating all afternoon. So I got some deodorant, put on a little outfit because we're gonna be doing some construction. So I wanna be comfortable and not sweat my ass off. So I changed really quick and I also have something super, super exciting that I want to open up and show you guys. So I'll do that really quick. Slip on some tennis shoes. We're gonna hit the road. So I'm super excited because I got a package in the mail from Mina Bay and it is a diaper bag and I'm super excited you guys they sent me this guys this is not paid I did not pay for this they sent this to me and I'm so excited and I'm gonna open it up and I want to show you guys because it's so freaking good I've loved the branding and their company and what it stands for and it's just my aesthetic and I could not be more excited so I'm gonna open this up you guys, this is so pretty. I don't even want to open it up and mess it up. Mina Bay sent me the CV backpack. I'm seriously so obsessed and I could not be more grateful. You guys are amazing. And I will show you more of this after I get home. But like I said, Callan's kind of giving Jackson a fit and I gotta get over there. So let's go. One thing I am gonna point out though is um, men suck compared to women. And the reason being is because Callum's throwing a little fit and Jackson can't get any work done. And now he knows how it can be sometimes, you know, whenever you're a mom, you just 
figure it out, right? But the dads are like, ah, oh, they won't stop crying. Like, I can't get anything done. Yeah. Anywho. If you're ever wondering and curious, this is why women are better than men. Have you ever seen this, Jack? No, you didn't. This is motherhood when you have 101 things you need to do, but your baby doesn't feel the best and wants to be held. So, take care of him. I don't know if he's like real sick. I don't know if he have, has allergies or what, but he's just not been feeling the best. We do have him on a breathing treatment still, but doesn't seem to be doing much. And the his pediatrician really, they can't really do much when they're this young. I think around six months is when all of the like antibodies that they got from their moms, they start to kind of break down and they start building their own immune system so I think that's probably why a lot of babies I'm pretty sure that is why a lot of babies get sick around like the six month mark and my mom actually texted me and told me that today marks his fifth month he's five months old today so pretty crazy time flies I cannot believe it and it's just like been the fastest time period of my life. Are you who I'm talking to? <laughs> Do you want to say hi? So, we're hanging out in the car. I had his binky in my car, so I came out to get it. And I realized I had left my camera and my phone out here. So, we're going to hang out for just a second. And then I'm going to go inside and help Jack as much as I can. His project that he's working on is actually really cool. So I want to show you guys a little bit of that. Um, yeah. If you're into like interiors and home design, you're going to love this shit. So I'll show you. Say hi. Look that baby. Look at that baby. <laughs> that he's a boy you. That he's your boy. And I was telling YouTube about your project. Yeah, it looks really good actually. Call me for all your contracting needs. <laughs> I didn't even know what a lamb's foot was. <laughs> but turns out it looks like a lamb's foot. <laughs> what is it? It's yeah, it's yeah, it's what it is. <coughs> it's a fried bar from Buffalo. <laughs> he'll be up at the top and he'll say, Oh, hand me whatever. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't even know what you're talking about. house it's a family friend that bought the house they live next door 
So they have a ton of stuff around, but they bought this house and they're gonna sell the current one and move into this one. And I think it is so cute. The bones of the house are so cute. And I think once it gets done, it's gonna be really, really cute. Look, it's like this cute little sunroom area. Now don't mind all of this stuff, but the cute little sunroom area and it has this fireplace with those windows. How freaking cute. And then a nice backyard, which is kind of not common around the Lake of the Ozarks, at least not one to this size. And the kitchen's kind of wonky. I don't love the cabinets. The refrigerator's kind of awkward, but I mean, it's gonna be really cool after it's done. And then, yeah, all of this going on. Okay, and then here is the master, which I love. I mean, look at this. What a cute view of your backyard. There's a sliding glass door. The closet is huge. And then into the master bath. So cute. It's kind of dated and it's some updates, of course, but it's very pretty. Square footage of the house, I mean, it's so big. There's not a ton of rooms in the house, but everything is very grand and I'm a big fan of it. So anyway, it's a little house update. Make you nervous when I video you? <laughs> it doesn't. Hmm, okay. Building the last three and then we're done. Kinda. How long has this taken you to do? This project, a couple weeks. Yeah. In the evenings. And he doesn't do this for his full time job. He just comes over in the evenings. Oh, yeah, if you're curious, my hat is from one of my girlfriend's boutiques. It's called Amanda Names. I'll try to link her below, but so cute. I'm obsessed. I made it back home. I am making a quick pizza for dinner because I'm just tired and it's been a long day. So making a pizza for dinner. I'm actually going to swaddle Cal up and put him to bed here in just a couple minutes because we've been putting him to bed closer to eight o'clock and he's been doing well. He's still waking up throughout the night and he's still um, waking up early in the morning, but it's just, he's able to stay up later now rather than going to bed at 6 30. so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put him to sleep we're gonna make our dinner and take showers and go to bed um so tired but i do want to show you guys really quick my bag that mina bay had sent me i showed like a quick little tidbit of it but it is so cute. I'm so excited and I want to empty out my current um, diaper bag and switch to this one because it's so good. Oh, I yeah. am obsessed. And I can't wait to fill it and make it so cute. And also they sent one of their changing envelopes and I just can't get over this. I think it's so genius. Such a genius product. So aesthetic and it just makes sense so if you are also looking to get a good diaper bag that is not only handy and has everything you need but also gets the job done check out me in a bay i'm gonna link them down below once again this is not sponsored they just sent me this bag and i am so excited and if anything check them out on instagram because they are so cute they're so aesthetically pleasing their branding is right on point so i highly highly suggest and like i said i will have a link to their instagram and their website down below it is so freaking cute and i'm so excited so thank you so much for sending me the bag anyway we're gonna make some dinner and we're gonna hang out for the night about best pizza ever i've i figured out how to make a cheap pizza taste delicious 
and it's adding blue cheese crumbles and banana peppers and I dip it in Caesar dressing. You can't tell me it's not good. You haven't tried it. <coughs> oh my God, the hat line on my forehead. Okay, we're done with dinner. I'm gonna hop in the shower, take off my makeup, and get ready for bed. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, you should definitely subscribe down below, like this video, support my channel, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye.